Welcome to the game theory. Today we are going to solve an interesting game theory problem using the mini max maximum principle. We are going to look at a two person zero sum game. When a game has only two players and the gain of one player is equal to the loss of another, then it is called a two person zero sum game. Here we have a payoff matrix of player A and B with four rows and five columns respectively. To proceed, we have to find the row minimum. Now that's pretty simple. Let's consider the first row of player A. Now which is the least? It is minus three. Second minus one, two, and twelve. Now we are done with the row minimum. Let's proceed to find the column maximum. Now in the first column, the maximum number is fifteen, fourteen, eighteen, twelve, and twenty. Now let's revisit row minimum. Here we have to ask an important question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, which is the greatest number of them all? And the answer is 12. So let's demarcate it and call it maximum. Maximum. Okay, now let's go back to the column max and again pose the proverbial question, mirror, mirror on the wall, which is the least number of them all? And the answer again is 12. So let's demarcate this and call this mini max because this is the minimum of the maximum. Now, let's write the values of maximum, which is 12, and minimax, which is 12 again. Now, what have we in common since maximum is equal to minimax and that is equal to 12 the game has a saddle point or an equilibrium point hence it's a game of pure strategy now the next step is to determine the best strategy for player a and that is the row corresponding to the saddle point. So it is four. Now, what about the best strategy for player B? That again is the column corresponding to the saddle point, which again is four, okay? Now, the next important aspect of the game is to find the value of the game. Now, what is the value of the game? Value of the game is the amount of payoff at the saddle point or equilibrium point. And that obviously is 12. So let us write 12. Since V is positive, the game is favorable to player A. Okay, so these are the simple steps in solving a two-person zero-sum game using the minimax maximum principle. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and happy learning.